What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we'll be talking about Saw X in this video here again today. So Saw X apparently out at Comic-Con uh, news came out from Deadline is who I first saw reporting this and then I got a press release email stating that the film has now been pushed up so it's coming out on September 29th now instead of the original release date the upcoming midquel that is set between the events of Saw and Saw 2 that was actually now confirmed in the latest press release that was sent to me uh, so it's coming out a month earlier now on September 29th in, in this video I also will be discussing some other tidbits about the trailer what to expect in the trailer and how long the trailer is coming from a trusted Saw insider over on the Saw subreddit page but Saw X will follow John Kramer who is back Tobin Bell is back we actually got our first look at him today. The steel that's re been released is actually quite good. The most disturbing installment of the Saw franchise yet explores the untold chapter of Jigsaw's most personal game. Set between the events of Saw and Saw 2, a sick and desperate John travels to Mexico for a risky and experimental medical procedure in hopes of a miracle cure for his cancer, only to discover the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. Armed with a newfound purpose, the infamous serial killer returns to his work, turning the tables on the con artist in his signature visceral way through devious, deranged, and ingenious traps. Now, we know this has Tobin Bell back. Shawnee Smith is back. Uh, the actor who plays Hoffman is expected to return. And now we know that the rumored plot that I had kind of touched touched off many times in countless videos months for several months leading up to this actual confirmation it has been confirmed we're going to mexico john is going to be targeting targeting a corrupt doctor viewer non had told us about this a couple months back and according to deadline the studio is so excited about the next sequel and it's testing which to me indicates that some test screenings have already happened and they've been overly positive that they decided to move up the pick's release date from October 27th to September 29th. Now, a part of me also is curious how much of this had to do with not wanting to compete and go head to head with the more profitable movie that might have been coming out that same month or well, it is still coming out that same month, which is the Five Nights at Freddy movie, but whatever. Um, now, jumping into the tidbits about the insider who was sharing things over on the Saw subreddit, this is someone named soft space official they actually have a twitter account as well that i'll be referencing in terms of what you can expect in the trailer they are a trusted insider over on the saw subreddit page who has revealed when we should have the poster and the trailer for saw x and they disclosed the runtime of the trailer so here's what they had to say about the trailer in response to somebody over on a reddit thread that i'll leave a link to in the description of this video uh, when talking about if they were able to be successful and not knowing as much going into this as they would have liked to, they said they have not succeeded. Uh, I'm very limited about what I can talk about, but you might want to avoid seeing the trailer if you're wanting to remain surprised and unspoilt, as it's a little too revealing of the main plot. I'm expecting the poster to drop the day before, which is, or but certainly by next weekend, you should have that and the trailer to salivate over so next week is when i'm now going to be expecting the poster and the trailer to drop uh hell if you get me to 10k followers on twitter they said i'll leak them both of course that's that's just a joke <laughs> they said they would have been happy with keeping the trailer minimalistic but those involved wanted wanted it to pitch further by revealing a lot more they said they can't discuss specifics but i hope you all have hope you all have fun with it and love it the trailer apparently is two minutes and 30 seconds by the way so what's shown in the trailer? Well, if I head over to their Twitter page, they had up a poll on July 7th asking, what do you want from the Saw X trailer this month? They said some of the options were cameos, John Kramer, Billy and Trap previews, and the other one was all of the above. Now, they followed up not too long ago, less than a day ago, they responded to this tweet from July 7th saying the majority wanted all of the above you might just get what you wish for so now I'm going to expect this trailer contains cameos John Kramer Billy and trap previews which is what any Saw fan would want from a Saw trailer but in in fairness to them because it sounds like they've already seen it perhaps the context of what they show is just a little bit too revealing and it doesn't leave a lot of surprises left for the film so if you're someone who again thinks that watching trailers and knowing a lot about the movie before even watching it ruins the experience for you maybe you should avoid the trailer according to saw space official but if you don't care and you're someone who mostly cares about execution like myself go all in have nuts it sounds like the trailer is going to be action-packed sounds like the trailer is going to really entice us to get to the theater on, on september 29th i don't know when i will be seeing it i do expect to see it early and of course i will have a review 
up on my channel like I did with the last Saw Project, Spiral from the Book of Saw, but all in good time. This was a very exciting bit of news that came out. I didn't expect this to come out today. Um, I, I did know that we were going to get the Exorcist poster today because I've seen several people credible and some that aren't really necessarily as credible mentioning it because I guess they must have gotten it from these other credible people. But yeah, we got the Exorcist poster today, but I wasn't expecting anything about Saw X to come out. I was expecting Saw X to have something at that convention or the panel it has set up next weekend, which explains why we're getting the poster and the trailer according to Saw Space Official. It looks like that's when we should expect it, sometime next week. So you guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Saw X? Why or why not? My thing with Saw X is, again, I mostly just want us to have a film that is something I can sit down, watch in cohesion with Saw, Saw 2, Saw 3, and call it, call it quits. I'm not saying that I can't watch the other Saw films, but I personally feel that with the Saw franchise, I was falling out of love with it as it progressed. Yes, all the movies I can admit are fun to watch for the gore, because I love some gore. But in terms of the overall quality, comparing it to those first few films, nothing beats those first three for me. Nothing's beating them. I, I do think that Spiral was adequate enough. Uh, I just didn't... I fell out of love with a lot of the later entries. I can revisit them, but if I now have a quadrilogy I can sit down and look at, I'll have no problem sitting down and turning on Saw, Saw X, then turning on Saw 2, then turning on Saw 3 and calling it quits, and then turning on Spiral if I feel like watching Spiral. You guys, again, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I think they really just need to focus on giving John Kramer a proper send-off they don't need to do anything else set in between any other movies with john kramer we know john kramer's story and how it ends don't try to unwrite or don't try to rewrite the history by making him alive again or anything like that the man was killed probably shouldn't have killed him that early because he kept on returning although admittedly he didn't come back to life they were just still using him perhaps he still could have benefited from being kept alive but they killed him very early on in the series and hopefully with saw x they just give him an appropriate send-off that can usher in a new era of saw films for years to come if that's what happens at the box office and if the box office is anything to go off of because you know that's what matters at the end of the day let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video